Hello, oh, this is the Chicken Guy here doing a commentary for Sarah's Battlefront 2. This is a conquest on map Geonosis. It is uh, also footage of the online multiplayer. This is obviously on the PC. So, yeah. <coughs> I got cough, so. <coughs> so, yeah. This is the PC version, obviously, so. Yeah, I'm playing as the engineer droid on the uh, separatist side. So yeah, this is actually an old gameplay that I've had for like a long while. This is like it was like 18 minutes long, so I wasn't really able to use it. <laughs> so I don't know that I can post longer than 15 minutes. I guess I'll I guess I'll upload it now. Just use it so. It also gives me some time to talk to myself in a microphone while watching gameplay to Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, uh, if you want to pick up a copy of Star Wars Battlefront 2, I suggest, you know, probably buying the Star Wars Fan Favorites pack it has. Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2, and Star's Republic Commando for the PC on DVD ROM, or you can buy Star Wars Battlefront 2 alone on Steam. Unfortunately, though, Star Wars Battlefront 1 is not on Steam, so. I wish it was, but unfortunately, you know, it's not, so. I don't think uh, LucasArts is uh, really going to put Battlefront 1 on Steam. So, yeah, right now, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic is on sale. Um, so hold on, I'm going to just see uh, how much it costs right now. Um, it is around 30, $34, $38. 38 including taxes, so, uh, and then the digital deluxe edition is, hold on a second, just need to do up the uh, tax thing, 4.34, so yeah, it's $50 for the digital deluxe edition and $38 for the, uh, for the normal edition, um, if I do, in fact, buy the game, I'm probably not going to get the Digital Deluxe Edition. The fact, like, what do I get? Some extra in-game items? Uh, not... Not really worth it all that much, but... Uh, you know, they, I mean, they were limited edition items. So... Yeah. Like items that came in the limited edition, or they're just pre-order bonuses. So, uh, but anyways, uh, whether or not what version you get, I still say you should get it. I don't actually have the game, but I played the in one of the beta weekends, and it was a really good game. I played a uh, a bounty hunter, I think. Yeah, bounty hunter, and the. Uh, I know. I only got up a little bit, I only got up to drum and class in the uh, storyline, but the game was really fun. I mean, I might get it, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get it or not. Um, it's, um, I'm not too sure like how different it is from WoW. I mean, obviously the setting and story is different. In fact, that's a story-based MMO. But, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, when I played, the gameplay was a little bit like, well, like the uh, combat system and stuff, but, I mean, if it's an MMORPG, of course, the uh, combat system is going to be like, well, because it's pretty much going to be the same for, like, each, for, like, for MMORPGs, uh, except for action MMORPGs, such as, uh, DC Universe Online, and, Terror Online, you know, uh, there's, uh, you know, those are just ones where you, like, spam 
your mouse when in like a just normal MMORPG is you uh it has auto attack and you cast spells and stuff so eh. although in the older probably could be like force powers or tech uh, like a like a wrist rocket or like a I don't know a grenade and then there's force powers obviously is it Star Wars um yeah this is kind of just a ramble that means absolutely nothing but uh yeah um in order though to uh, get Star's Battlefront 2 to work without the disc you need the uh, CD-ROM version I've been getting a lot of messages about that from my tutorial on that but uh yeah you need the CD-ROM version I actually I can take the box out here even though you can't see it so there's absolutely no point but the box is just huge I'm just gonna see how many discs are in here I think it's around five or six yeah there's about five discs to it all CD-ROMs so you know, just if you do in fact get the CD members make sure that your uh, your disc drive supports CDs. It really should. I mean, or just make sure you have a uh, a disc drive. Like, don't don't try to uh, install it with a floppy drive. Is a well, obviously, it won't take in CD ROMs or DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever the hell you feel like using it. Well, Got a hangnail. Uh, yeah, um, like I said uh, in my last commentary today, my other one, my first one, there's a free weekend on Steam going on for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Download if you want to. I'm not going to, because obviously I'm not too much a fan of Call of Duty, and also, um, my computer can't really run it that well. And I just killed Mace Windu. Yeah, so, uh... I'm trying to think of what else I can possibly say right now. Um... Yeah, not, not much to say. Uh, I, I can't wait to finish watching Puma Man. That's all. It's just like completely insane. It makes no sense at all, but it's hilarious because of how bad it is. I mean, if someone just bang, if you're in your shed and someone just bashed down the door, gave you a belt, and said, "You are the Puma Man," I'm pretty sure you'd have more questions than, "What the hell is a Puma Man?" Like, the main character of the movie, he that's all he says, really, at that point. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that if that happened to someone in real life, um, they'd have more questions than, what is the Puma Man? I'd probably ask, who the hell are you? Why did you bash through my shed? <laughs> I mean, if you, if you want to watch an old 80s movie with bad special effects... And they're just laughable, and a story that makes no sense, and <laughs> just awesome acting, <laughs> acting in quotations. <laughs> yeah, the acting is also laughable. It's just insane, and it's just so bad that it's good. I mean, it's just one of those movies. It's so bad that it's good. Kind of like Red Brown movies, like Cage and Cage 2. I think those happen to be two of the better Red Brown movies because of the fact that uh, he co-stars with Boo Ferrigno in those movies. <laughs> yeah. There's a movie, well, two movies where Red Brown co-stars with Lou Ferrigno. I just don't know what to say.
And as you can tell, I love 80s movies. They're just so bad that they're good. They're just awesome. <laughs> well, 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 there are some movies that are actually good, but I just love the <laughs> really bad 80s movies. Because they're just so funny. Like how bad the special effects are, how bad the acting is, and just how bad the, s the plot <laughs> to the movie is. Like Puma Man. It makes absolutely no sense at all. And probably should not be taken seriously. I don't know. Yeah, Puma Man happened to be the uh, movie for a certain episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. So that kind of leans towards the fact that it's so bad that it's good. And, well, it is a Puma Man. Like, the story is that he is the Puma Man. Well, kind of like a superhero, but like modeled after a Puma. Like, has, he's supposed to have the powers of a Puma. What does flying have to do with being a Puma? I mean, he flies everywhere. What does that have to do with being a Puma? Nothing. Puma Man has absolutely nothing to do with Pumas, except for his name. Puma Man has nothing to do with being a Puma. And his costume is just so funny. I mean, it's just a long-sleeved black t-shirt with a golden picture of a puma's face on it. And then he has just tan cargo short, no, cargo pants with dress shoes and a red and black striped cape. That has nothing to do with being a puma either. I mean... I just, it, it's just so bad and funny. You just have to see it. It's on, I don't know how it's, it's still up there. It wasn't taken down because of copyright. Maybe that's because it's a crappy 80s movie. It happens to be on YouTube in, I think, 12 parts. So, if you want to watch the Puma Man, it's there. There's also the uh, version with the... Uh, with the riff from Mystery Science Theater 3000. So far I've only seen one episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000 though. That was a revenge of the creature of the Black Lagoon. So... Uh, it, it was just funny. And, well, and, and I recently bought Dark Forces on Steam. It's awesome. It's probably one of the better Star Wars games. It's also probably one of the better classic first-person shooters. It reminds me a lot of Doom, but well, in Doom, you can't look up. Well, then again, I'm using the XL version, the accelerated version, so... You know, the actual normal version, you can't look up. And here, I'm a... I was going after Mace Windu with the low health, so I, uh, but I get picked off from distance, so, yeah, I'm actually talking a little bit about the gameplay here, not about the Puma Man. Yeah, the Puma Man. You just have to see it. It's one, it's, it's one of a kind. That's all I have to say about that movie, is it's one of a kind. I mean, there are no other superhero movies about a man that's supposed to be Puma that flies and fights crime and happens to have, like, a... He's supposed to kill people who desecrate the tomb of the ancient Puma gods, which is from outer space according to some First Nations guy from wher wherever. And I almost kill Mace Windu here. I almost kill I almost kill Or, oh, I actually do kill him. Okay. So, uh, 
So, yeah. The Puma Man is just a movie that you have to see. You cannot go without seeing The Puma Man. You have to see that movie. It's on YouTube, so just search up The Puma Man Part 1. If you want to, there's also the version that, uh, that has the uh, riff from Mystery Science Theater 3000, if you want to see that. But if you're a fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000, you've probably al already seen the episode about the Puma Man, which um, I'm guessing is one of the mo more famous episodes. Because, well, the Puma Man. It's the Puma Man. Just, just see the movie. I mean, you just have to watch the Puma Man. I'm actually kind of glad that it's on YouTube for the fact that, well, it's not piracy because you're not downloading it. You just happen to be watching it. So, you know. And I'm pretty sure that the copyright on the movie ran out. Well, it is an Italian movie. Well, I'm not really too sure about that, but it is directed by an Italian. So, I mean, that has something to do with it. But it is by far the best superhero movie ever made in the history of movies. You just have to see it. And wow, I'm actually. I, mean, I actually kind of went through this gameplay here. Uh, it's kind of getting close to the end. I mean, there's like a minute. My chair is getting caught in the cord to my headset. I hate it when that happens. Uh, yeah. Anyways. This gameplay is starting to come to an end. But, uh. Yeah, if you want to pick up Star Wars fan favorites, you know, you. You'll probably be able to find it in a store. I mean, it is one of the uh, more famous packages with games in it. I mean, it has three discs, obviously, one for each game. Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2, and Public Commando. Not really too sure like, which one is better, but I obviously played most out of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the fact that I also own it for the PS2. I played it a lot. And, uh, yeah, I've actually owned it for a long while. I also played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, with how much I played each game is probably Battlefront 2, Public Commando, Battlefront. So, yeah, this one too can guy here, and this gameplay is over. So, yeah. See ya.